Deuteronomy, chapter 33. This is the blessing with which Moses, the man of God, blessed the Israelites before he died. He said, The Lord came from Sinai, and dawned on his people from Seir. He shone forth from Mount Paran. With him were myriads of holy ones. At his right hand advanced the gods. Indeed, lover of the peoples, all the holy ones are at your side. They follow at your heels, carry out your decisions. Moses charged us with the law as a possession for the assembly of Jacob. A king arose in Jeshurun when the chiefs of the people assembled and the tribes of Israel united. May Reuben live and not die out, but let his numbers be few. Of Judah he said this, Hear, Lord, the voice of Judah, and bring him to his people. His own hands defend his cause, be a help against his foes. Of Levi he said, Give to Levi your tuming, your erring to your faithful one. Him you tested at Massa, contended against him at the waters of Meribah. He said of his father and mother, I have no regard for them. His brothers he would not acknowledge, for his own children he did not recognize, for they kept your words, and your covenant they upheld. They teach your ordinances to Jacob, your law to Israel. They bring incense to your nostrils, and burnt offerings to your altar. Bless, Lord, his strength. Be pleased with the work of his hands. Crush the loins of his adversaries and of his foes, that they may not rise. Of Benjamin he said, The beloved of the Lord, he abides in safety beside him. He shelters him all day long. The beloved abides at his breast. Of Joseph he said, Blessed by the Lord is his land, with the best of heaven above, and of the abyss crouching beneath, with the best of the produce of the sun, and the choicest yield of the months, with the finest gifts of the ancient mountains, and the best from the everlasting hills, with the best of the earth and its fullness, and the favor of the one who dwells on Sinai. Let these come upon the head of Joseph, and upon the brow of the prince among his brothers. His firstborn bull, majesty is his. His horns are the horns of a wild ox. With him he gores the peoples, attacks the ends of the earth. These are the myriads of Ephraim, and these are the thousands of Manasseh. Of Zebulon he said, Rejoice, Zebulon, in your expeditions. Exalt, Issachar, in your tents. They invite peoples to the mountain where they offer right sacrifices, because they suck up the abundance of the seas and the hidden treasures of the sand. Of Gad, he said, Blessed be the one who has made God so vast. He lies there like a lion. He tears the arm, the head as well. He saw that the best should be his, for there the commander's portion was assigned, he came at the head of the people. He carried out the justice of the Lord and his ordinances for Israel. Of Dan, he said, Dan is a lion's cub that springs away from a viper. Of Naphtali, he said, Naphtali, abounding with favor, filled with the blessing of the Lord, take possession of the west and south. Of Asher, he said, Most blessed of sons be Asher. May he be the favorite among his brothers, and may he dip his foot in oil. May the bolts of your gates be iron and bronze. May your strength endure through all your days. There is none like the God of Jeshurun, who rides the heavens in his power, who rides the clouds in his majesty. The God of old is a refuge, a support are the arms of the everlasting. He drove the enemy out of your way, and he said, Destroy! Israel abides securely. Jacob dwells apart, in a land of grain and wine, where the heavens drip with dew. Happy are you, Israel, 
who is like you a people delivered by the Lord, your help and shield and the sword of your glory. Your enemies cringe before you. You stride upon their backs.